This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in Old School RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 Lava Dragons for a Visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. In today's episode, we are taking on the slimy sea serpent of the Desert Treasure 2 quest, the Leviathan. Our goal will be to receive the Leviathan's lure, which has a drop rate of 1 in 768. I have never actually defeated this boss outside of the quest, so just like in my Duke Sussilus video, we are starting off with 1 KC on the log. The Leviathan is really only defeated using ranged, so this will be my gear setup and inventory for this entire grind. To begin this video, I want to really quickly go over the main mechanics of the boss, and of course, this was my first KC really on the boss, so it's going to be a bit clunky, but I can show the mechanics. The main mechanic is of course the prayer switching, where the green orbs are ranged, blue ones are magic, and the orange ones are melee. These colored projectiles will come out faster and faster from the boss and you will have to stun it with a shadow burst or barrage spell on the ancient spellbook to then run behind it and do a backstab guaranteed hit. After you've reset the attack speed you will have to deal with one of two special mechanics. The first one is electricity where you have to run away from the electricity meanwhile trying to hit the boss. Later in the video you will see me do a more efficient strategy than what I'm doing right now. And the second one is the rocks that the boss shoots out and you will have to walk to make a line and then walk behind it as there's going to be a massive explosion afterwards. Also between the attack cycles of the boss, rocks will fall from the ceiling, you have to avoid this, otherwise you take like 25 damage. And lastly, when the boss reaches 180 hit points, this white ball will spawn in one corner of the room and you will have to stand inside of its range to deal increased damage. When also not standing in the orb, you will take chip damage even when protecting the correct prayer from the boss shooting at a rapid speed. So it's definitely in your best interest to stand in this orb and use your special attacks to kill the boss as soon as possible. Okay, at least I'm getting the last phase down a bit more. I felt like I did that way quicker than normal for some smoke runes and 231 personal best. So yeah, I guess the, the proof is in the pudding on the faster kill. Oh, no way, bro. I am so bad at this boss. I really have to get into it. I feel like this is pretty difficult, honestly, to learn. All the kills have been correctly tracked. I just forgot to add it to the screen, but there we go. That is the five Leviathan we've killed and we've only made 70k so far. So not really had the best drops. Oh, 8kc Awakener's Orb, you know what? I'll take that. Definitely making up for some of the bad drops I've had so far. And there we go, that is 10kc done on the Leviathan for some soul runes. And out of all the Desert Treasure 2 bosses, I can easily say this is the one I am struggling with the most. I really just can't get it down. My kills are very sloppy, and I know that probably having some tile markers could help out with that. But yeah, I'm just struggling with this a lot more than the others. I actually went ahead and added some tile markers to the ground on the four corners of the boss, making it way easier to know when I need to click on the boss to attack to avoid all of the damage from the electricity. And I didn't fail a single time, so definitely worth it. I guess I am getting into it after all. Definitely the best kill so far. And we do get rewarded as well with 63 mithril arrows. My Sarai crossbow was going off this kill, man. That was insane. 136. That's a personal best by 50 seconds. Oh, global best 44 seconds. I thought 136 was good. Oh, 90 onyx ball tips. These are the best common drops that you can get. So you can actually get up to 135 on a perfect kill, but not really getting perfect kills right now. I am getting kind of close now to the drop rate of the teleport to the Leviathan, but for now I am kind of using the Necklace of Passage, running to the Wizard Tower, and then down into the Guardians of the Rift minigame, where you actually can enter the boss area. So it takes a bit of time to travel there. Getting the teleport would be very nice. Oh, we're getting pretty nasty at this. Personal best. 129? I'll take it. You see this helmet right here? The classical dragon med helm? Back in the days, everyone dreamt of owning one of these, but I know something even better. With today's sponsor, Creator Crafted, I have my own in real life dragon med helm LED light to decorate my apartment with, and it looks absolutely stunning. All of the products Creator Crafted produces are officially licensed by Jagex, and besides the dragon med helm, there are multiple other designs you can get as well. The hardcore Iron Man helmet, PK skull, Elysian spirit shield, twisted bow and more. Another one of my favorite products is the Tombs of a 
Basket mouse mat because I mean, look at this. The art is honestly breathtaking. By clicking my link in the description or use code ALONE10 at checkout, you can get 10% off your purchase. This is a great way to support me as I get a very generous cut from this and you also get some of the best RuneScape related products there are. Thank you so much to Creator Crafted for sponsoring this video. After that incredibly fast kill, I've realized how much my kills are dependent on the Ruby Bolt specs. And with the Kandarin Hard Diary, there is actually a chance to increase the chance of Ruby Bolt specs by 10%. And I already have all the requirements that I need to complete this, so I think it's just worth to do it real quick. For a step in the Hard Diary, I had to kill the Penance Queen in Barbarian Assault, and I have actually never done the Barbarian Assault on my main account. I don't have a torso or anything like that, I did do it for my group Iron Man a long time ago. Shout out to the team. These guys were great, we only really failed one single wave, and I was literally looking up a YouTube video on double speed, how to do the attack roll as we were doing it, but that is now that done. And that is it, that's all the diaries completed, and you can see the chances of having an enchanted bolt use its special attack has increased by 10% too. So let's go ahead and as always to use the XP lamps on agility 15k, 7.5k, and 2.5k. Oh, that's it. First clue scroll of the grind, and it's uh, the elite clue scroll. They all have the same drop rate, you can get all the different tiers except beginners, but elite first is pretty nice. Yes, I was beginning to worry. I was going to go kind of unlucky on this, 35 KC. That is the teleport to the Leviathan, as well as a hard crew skull. I'll definitely take that. Let's go ahead and use it on the ring and check the teleport. The scar, how close is this? We now have all the unlocks, by the way, on the ring. Yeah, this is a really good position, actually. That's nice to have. Okay, uh, wow, we're getting a lot of clue scrolls. 44 KC, first medium clue. We got the first Chromium ingots. I didn't even get one of these in my last video in like 1,088 Vardorvis. These are one in 256, so on 45 KC, that's lucky. Oh my god, I've now got every single tier of Clue Skull in just 64 kill counts. On Vardorvis, it took like 1,000. Oh my god, what is my clan doing? Every time I'm getting an Awakener's Orb, this is all that I see. And that's it, 100 uh, KC done on this boss so far, and of course we have not seen the Axe piece just yet, we have seen a couple of orbs, and uh, this is actually where I'm going to end the first day of the grind, because doing the diaries, learning the boss and all that took a while, and I'm getting around 20 kills an hour, so I've already been doing the boss for probably 7 hours, including the learning. Oh, we are starting off the second day with a bang, a bronze arrows as the first drop, it's looking good. Oh, that looks so good. We finally got the perfect kill on a really valuable drop, which is the Onyx Ball Tips. 135 of them, actually even a red beam. That is the last one out of all the quartz that I need. I have now all the different quartz for my Ancient Scepter from all the Desert Treasure 2 bosses. We are doing great on day number 2, we have now doubled the KC from day number 1, and we still have plenty of time as we didn't have to do any learning and no Barbarian Assault. Okay, it is confirmed, the Leviathan is the reverse Vardorvis for me. I'm getting a bunch of Chromium ingots, but no uniques, and on Vardorvis it was the other way around. Smoke Quartz number 2 of the grind. I've already been going for around 8 hours today, but it's actually getting pretty late because I had to do some other stuff as well, but I do want to hit 300 KC today, so let's get it. You actually gain a crazy amount of ranged experience when doing the Leviathan because you get double ranged experience towards this boss, so I've now hit over 2 million ranged experience in just 269 kills. I guess we are not getting the Leviathan's lure today after this one. We're done for 300 KC, day number 2. And the last drop is... Supply drop. I guess I could do one more kill, but honestly, it is so late now, I just kind of have to go to bed. So, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day three of the grind. Is today going to be the day we get the Leviathan's lure? I guess we'll see. What a start to the day. I got so many bolt procs on this one. Let's see. 107. New personal best by... What was that? Like, 12 seconds? Something crazy like that. Ah, first unique of the day, smoke quartz, not the best one. Of course, all the leftover smoke quartz at the end, I can open the new chest he added, which I opened in the last video, so it's money. No way. We just died when the boss did. Oh, it only dropped rune arrows, I guess we're fine, we didn't lose too much. 
Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good today. We're hitting the first 100 kills of the day and it's been roughly five hours. Sometimes I don't really reach the 20 kills per hour, but still pretty decent. So 400 KC overall, meaning we have hit more than the halfway point of the grind and no lure just yet. That's a big one. That is actually orb number 10 of the grind. I feel like we've been pretty lucky with this. So yeah, I can't complain at all. And most of the money honestly has been from the orbs as I haven't got any Virtus and no ring. You know what, I'm going to be honest, this boss is actually so tiring to do compared to the other Desert Treasure 2 bosses. I've been going now for like 9 hours today I would say, and my kills per hour have been pretty decent I would say, but after this one, this one trip I just have to go to bed because I wanted to do 200 kills but it is so hard to keep it up. After doing these quick prayer switches for like 9 hours in one day, definitely gets a bit tiresome. Also, I do play with sound zone, so this is what I have to hear all day. Alright, that will have to be the last kill of day number 3 of the grind. For some call on the last one, 41k. I am absolutely fried. I will have to go to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everyone, I had a nice 9 hours of solid sleep and today I'm feeling lucky. Maybe today is going to be the day we get the Leviathan's Lure. Or actually we're getting pretty close I would say to maybe being on the drop rate for the ring pretty soon. So maybe we can get that as well, it would be quite a lot of money. Oh my god, that's the first time in this video I've got two Awakener's Orbs in the same trip. Like 3 kills in between only. No Virtus pieces, no ring pieces, but I definitely can get Awakener's Orbs. I actually died for a second time at the same time as the boss did, and I lost 67 gold ores, so not the biggest deal. And I actually noticed that these kills both were not tracked on my loot tracker, so we will be too behind on the tracker for the rest of the video. It is actually kind of insane how good money these bosses are without getting Virtus pieces or ring pieces, because we just hit 500kc and we've made 60 million raw GP. That is not including the clues I've done as well, which I haven't opened yet, but yeah, that's really good. Oh, that is the last Chromium ingot on this grind I will be happy to see, because now we have three overall, and that means if I do get the Vestige, we can actually make our own with the Chromium ingots. What? Oh, shit, we got the Vestige! Holy, I just insta-clicked on it, and we got a massive collection of slots. Wait, didn't I just record a clip talking about how I got the last Chromium ingot? I mean, we are making absolute bank. I don't know how much this ring is worth, but surely a lot. You know, this means the ring does not only have a monetary value, but also a bit of sentimental value, as I'm making it completely with my own Chromium ingots. And there it is. It should be worth quite a bit around 100 million GP. Oh, even says in the chat, 107 million. And there it is. Beautiful. 108 million GP. And after tax, 106.9 million GP. That means so far on this grind, we have earned 172 million GP. And we have not seen the lure yet, so we are risking another massive giveaway. Oh, another ingot. Fourth one of the grind. I mean, nice to restock them, I guess, after making the ring. As my kill tracker is two kills off, this is now kill number 600, and you can see in the chat, 601, of course, we started on 1kc, and we have not seen the lore yet, so we only have uh, 168 tries left. No way. Yes, dude! Oh my god, what a relief, man. This boss is so brain rotty. My brain is just destroyed by all the sounds and all the click intensity. And we won. We actually won the challenge. I thought this was going to be another Vardorvi situation where we're going to be having to do a massive giveaway. But we did it. And after all of this, this is now my collection log. The only things we're missing is the pet. Maybe I'll go for that in the future. As well as the two Virtus pieces, bottom and mask. Which we can actually still get from the Whisperer. Which is the last boss we have to do for on drop rate. Let's go ahead and finish off the grind by opening all the caskets we got. Nine easy ones. Let's begin with those. Of course, if I get a master clue, we are going to complete it. Oh, we got the ham joint. It's 2 million GP. It's actually kind of uh, useful in the game, in Theater of Blood and stuff like that. But yeah, I would say pretty good opening for the easy clues. This is all the loot that I got from the easy clue scrolls. Definitely very good value. So let's see if we can beat that with mediums. Hopefully getting ranger boots would be a lot. Oh, first master. 
Easy enough, master completed. Let's continue the opening. First one, already a collection log. Adamant play body age 5. Let's see if we can get any green ranger boots. We get a lot of green items, apparently, but no ranger boots. And another master. A bit of a detour. I needed 81 fletching for a master step. And really, the only time I get an excuse to train skilling is diaries and master clue steps. So we're going to be boosting now and making these darts to complete the step. This is the loot from the medium clues, 90k, so let's go on to the hard ones. And right away, we get another master and 550k worth of loot. A bit of a change in scenery, let's keep opening the hard caskets. Pretty good one, 146k, and last 102k. Definitely beat the mediums with the hard clue scrolls, this is all the loot from that. But let's go ahead with the elites, first one is no master, and second one also no master well i guess we're starting the masters as well i accidentally opened one of them for 123k let's finish this off 393k and last one 200k before we check out how much we made total in this video let's go ahead and open the leftover quartz that i got for not that good loot honestly but another 96k and finally all the loot has been sold from the grind let's collect the biggest stack of money and let's actually check the price shaker. This, of course, is all the money that I made from the ring. And 70 mil is just pure loot that we got. So 177 million GP from 655 Leviathan. That is wild. Next up, we're taking on the last Desert Treasure 2 boss, the Whisperer. And after that, we have episode number 60 coming up, which is a pet episode. So make sure you subscribe to be notified when I post these videos, because trust me, you do not want to miss out on these. The last video's giveaway of 133.5 million GP went to the booty man. Congrats to you and enjoy the massive amount of money. The biggest giveaway so far.